Hi, it's Debong again. Today I'm gonna show you how to install Alenium Appearance redesigned by Project M. The redesign of Alenium's appearance features an attractive design, organized to make it easier for 5M players to change their character's outfit. Your 5M players will definitely love this redesign. As you can see, you can easily select which part of your character you want to change. It is divided into three options. Player types allow you to choose which character to use in the game. In most servers, the free mode is commonly used unless you have a paid character. Body features allow you to change hair colors and other attributes. And clothes, which divided into two, clothes and props. No more scrolling and getting confused like before. Additionally, it features modified camera view adjustment for observing every aspect of your character. In this feature, you can easily use your mouse clicks to rotate and zoom the camera view, providing players with an accurate clothing tool. Click the link in the description to visit the store. This script is currently free for 24 hours, so be sure to visit and download it now. After completing your purchase, go to your Keymaster, Granted Asset, and download PM Appearance. This time I will use ESX Framework as a sample on how to install it properly and I used a fresh setup of ESX so that you can follow. Open a browser and type in Oxlib. Click the GitHub and make sure you have selected the latest version. Simply click the word releases. It will lead you to the download page. Below select Oxlib to download it. Once the asset was downloaded, open your download folder and extract them using WinRAW or any unarchiver you have, including the PM appearance. Next open the main folder of your 5M server. Since this is a new server, I will create a new folder to store the aux library and the PM appearance file. This time, I will call it aux. This folder will not work unless you register it on your server configuration file. To do that, open your configuration file in any browser by typing localhost 4012 to open it, and type in, ensure, aux. I will move it before standalone. And don't forget to save it. Let's move the scripts to the newly created folder now. You need to delete these files to completely replace your server skin changer in game. You will find some folders that can be deleted in the ESX ADON folder and delete the remaining folders. Return to the main resource, open the aux folder, and then access the PM folder. We need to install this SQL to the database. I'm using Visual Basic Studio software to open this file, but you may also use Notepad or Notepad++. I will open them all so that I can easily copy and paste them into my database. Open Heidi SQL. Navigate to your ESX Framework database. Go to the Query section, paste the SQL codes, and then click Run. Please repeat the same process for the remaining items. After adding those SQL scripts to your database, return to your framework folder and open your server configuration. Please add the following code to ensure that the script functions correctly. Make sure the oxlib comes first before the core folder. Now paste PM appearance under oxlib and the core folder. Make sure to save it. Finally, copy this line of code. Return to the main folder, open the PM appearance folder, and look for FX manifest. Scroll down and paste it here. And do not forget to save it. Now restart the server. To restart your server, either close the console or use TX admin in your browser. You can check for errors by simply holding Ctrl plus F and typing the name of the script in your TX admin panel. This time, no problems occur. Now, let's test this out in the game. This time, there are no problems at all.
I want to thank Project M for creating this new design. It truly makes our 5M server more appealing to players. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.